Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be doing my perfume tray for June and July. I do these every two months or so and I am super excited to show you the perfumes that I have picked out for summer and put on my tray. I use my perfume trays kind of as an inspiration piece. I have a pretty large collection so I like to collect fragrances here that I think fit the season, that I'm excited to wear, that I wanna wear more, I wanna get some thoughts on. Like it's meant to kind of pick them out so they get their time in the sun if you will so I'm excited look how colorful this tray is it's brimming with life and color and I feel like that really does represent a lot of the scents that are on here as well I wanted to pick a lot of my fruity scents pick a lot of my very summery tropical type of fragrances because those aren't what I necessarily wear a ton of the time and I want to make sure that I'm getting the use out of them during the summer months when I feel like it's most appropriate when I'm most in the mood so I'm so excited to go through these with you but I just remembered actually one perfume let me grab that we'll start with it. All right, I zoomed in and starting off, this is Tropica from Maya Enjai. I can't believe I almost forgot this one, honestly. This smells so good. If you're looking for an elevated tropical scent, I think you should check this one out. It has fig in it. It has coconut in it. It's very similar actually to Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit, I feel like, but a little more toned down and a little bit woodier I feel like there's a lot of woods in the base so it's that perfect mix of not being too fruity for me while still being really fun and just kind of summery and light-hearted in a way uh, but I love that it has that touch of sophistication I feel like that's one of the reasons I don't love as many fruity scents is because they can just be a little bit sickly sweet or just yeah not quite my style and this one is a really nice blend of a lot of things that I like so I definitely want to put this in. I can't believe I almost forgot it. All right, after that front and center here, we have mango skin. This is such a classic for summer to me anyway. I really love mango skin and I actually was just recently on the Fragrantica and damn, people are <laughs> roasting the shit out of this. They do not like this. They think that it smells like cheap soap and I find it not like that. So it's so interesting. Definitely go smell this in store though. Mm, this is like a juicy ripe mango, but what I love about this is there's something kind of but more mature, a little bit sexy going on. I remember at one point on Fragrantica, it talked about like a red wine note and I wanna say it even had like a civet note, but that is not listed in the notes. I don't know what's going on there, but that red wine really stuck with me because I felt like I could smell that. Now I'm like questioning everything, but I do feel like there is something kind of rich in the base. There is patchouli in there, so that I'm assuming is what's happening, but I love that this isn't just bright and fruity and that's it. There's something kind of sensual and again a little bit heavier to the base that I find elevates this and I think of this as like a summertime nighttime fragrance personally like it has a very specific time for me <laughs> that I wear this I really only wear this in the summer because it is so potent and so juicy. It does have a little bit of powderiness to it, but I really love this one. I think it's a unique mango scent and I personally don't find it to be cheap smelling, at least to me. So that is mango skin. Definitely want to get some use out of that while the weather is hot. I think this might have been in my last tray video. I think it might have been, but I still want to put it in here. This is Finery's Magnetic Candy. This is a dupe of Byredo's Sundays, and I really love it. This has citruses in it. It has a floral note, which it smells like white florals. It smells like neroli to me, but it's actually a violet leaf note in here, and then a cotton candy note, which I love. So it's nice and sweet, but I feel like there's a tartness in the other notes that really balances this really nicely. I don't feel like this is an exact dupe for Byredo Sundays. I actually think it's like a mixture of Sundays and Baccarat, which is perfect for me. So I absolutely love this. I think this is one to definitely check out at Target if you haven't. It's so affordable and perfect for spring and summer. Of course, we have Sunfruit here from Ellis Brooklyn. This is one I was actually a little disappointed with when it first came out. I was so excited about coconut note, a fig note. There were just so much going for for this fragrance and as much as it wasn't what I was expecting over time I do think it's grown on me it has a tartness to it a little bit of a juiciness to it there's a pear in the top and I feel like I get a lot more of the pear than I do the fig and I was really hoping for more fig and more coconut but you get a little bit of the coconut there's a little bit of woods in here some florals as well and I think it's a great one for summer definitely it has that juicy quality but I really categorize this more as like a juicy pear type of fragrance I feel like this is 
all fig and coconut. That's <laughs> like all that's in here. But this next one I actually picked up from Fragrance Net, and I've heard so much about this from Mugler. This is Angel O Crosser, but this is the 2020 version, which is the one with fig. Whatever the one with fig and praline is, that's the one I wanted. So that's why I bought this. I really haven't given this a ton of time. It definitely has that Mugler DNA, but there's something, yeah, fruity and kind of sweet and syrupy about this in a way. Definitely a little bit different for my everyday, but I feel like for summer, I want to, you know, keep using it, trying it, really get some thoughts on it. The bottle's absolutely stunning. Like, the bottle alone is so, so pretty, but this is one I definitely need to spend more time with because I don't know it very well, and I think it's the perfect time on this summer perfume tray. Moving across, this is Lime Sands from Skylar. I really love this fragrance. This is another one, though, that is just so specific. It is very lime. It's very coconut. I think there's coconut coconut water in here. There's some vanilla in the base though, a little bit of woods in the base as well. It's a little bit salty, but I really feel like the vanilla comes in here and really smooths everything out while it still has that bright kind of citrus note. I think it is the perfect like lime and the coconut fragrance if you're looking for something like this. It's so tropical, so beachy, definitely vacation vibes. And because it goes so hard in that category, it's hard for me to like think of it any other time. Like it's just appropriate for that to me. So I want to get my use out of it again while I can and I am excited I've actually already worn this a couple of times and I've really enjoyed it when I did It doesn't last a super long time, which I kind of like I love the four hours it lasts and then I can either switch it up or reapply And I think it's perfect for this tray. I'm re-adding the Atelier Cologne Pacific Lime This was actually in my last tray as well And this is similar in some ways to the Lime Sand scent from Skylar. This is citruses So there's like lime and lemon in here. There's there's coconut, but then it also has some aromatics. It has some mint, it has some eucalyptus. So there's something a little bit more biting about this, a little bit fresher, a little bit zingier. It doesn't have the vanilla to kind of round it out. So I find this one to be a little bit more refreshing. Not that Lime Sands isn't, but again, that one just has like a softness to it, almost making the lime and the coconut a little bit creamy, like a key lime pie creamy or something where this doesn't have that vanilla to soften it like that. So I wanted to put this in again because this is a another one of those really juicy, fruity, fun, and very specific scents that goes with only a specific time of year. All right, moving back over here, another coconut scent. This is one of my all-time favorite coconut scents. I'm planning to do a coconut video, so stay tuned for that. Some of these will definitely be in there, but Coconut Palm from Mix Bar is one that smells to me so expensive. This is a woody coconut scent. This to me smells like coconut crystallized sugar, like big coconut crystallized sugar on the rim of a glass or I don't know, cotton candy almost. Like there is something nice and sweet about it, but it also has some woody notes. It also smells like a bit burnt. Like it has a, a burnt sugar kind of note to me anyway. And I love that. I think it smells so, so good. And I can't believe that this is as cheap as it is because if this was coming from a high-end brand, I'd believe it. Like that's how this is to me. This is definitely elevated for a coconut scent. And I love that it doesn't go into pina colada territory. It's nothing like that. It's kind of its own thing. Thing. And this is one of my favorite ways coconut is done, especially nowadays. It is so, so good. Definitely, definitely check this one out for summer. I feel like this could be an all year round fragrance though if you love coconut that much. This one doesn't only have to play during summer, I feel like. You could totally rock this as like a signature scent. Kind of similar. This is Clean Reserve Solar Bloom. This also has some coconut in it, but it also has a coal note. I think it has patchouli in here as well. And I know that might sound so scary, but I feel like it just gives this a little bit of an earthiness, a little bit bit of something grounded to it. The coconut in here is nice and soft. There's still like a warmth to this fragrance though in a way that I really love. It's kind of sensual. It's like a skin scent almost, but mm, still has that coconut to it. Another more um, unique coconut scent I would say too. So if you like coconut, check this one out as well if you're looking for something a little bit different. It's really beautiful. Another one that's easy to wear and all year round wearable, but I wanted to put it in here because that coconut note. I'm not sure if this one's discontinued this is from the Aqua Allegoria line from Guerlain and I was so excited to get Coconut Fizz because so many people talked about it as a coconut fragrance So of course when I first started my journey, I was like I gotta get it and I don't know how to feel about this I don't really love a coconut water note like when coconut water or watermelon like those two scents to me Kind of come off a little tangy and a little bit odd in fragrances a lot of the time And this one just is a high coconut water type of smell if you like that you're gonna love this And if this is discontinued, there's a DKN fragrance that came out I think for 
2021. I don't know, it's like a beachy one and it's blue with like a wooden top and I think it smells so similar. So that's kind of like a dupe if you're interested. <laughs> Smelling it right now, it is more refreshing than I remember. It's like a watery smell, but still coconutty, still tropical, but it is refreshing. So I wanted to give it some more chances. I feel like over time your nose changes, what you like changes, and I really like to keep fragrances around because of that and revisit them. It's always so interesting to see how my nose evolves over the years. So I'm putting that one in, even though in the past it's definitely not been a favorite. But what has been a favorite, you guys, is my Julia Has a Gun Sunny Side Up. Of course, I'm gonna put it in here. I really don't wanna like, you know, keep talking about this. My goodness, you guys have heard so much about this fragrance on my channel, but I love this. This has Isoe Super in it. This is woody. It has coconut milk. It has jasmine in it. It has vanilla in it, but it's overall a really airy, woody, with a slight hint of coconut smell and it is beyond amazing. If you like ISOE Super, you gotta check this one out, you guys. It is so good. There's also like this creamy sandalwood note in here too. So there's something almost lactonic, although again, it still has a lightness to it. It's not like milky, milky actually. It's musky, it's just so good. You have to check it out. It's one of my favorites. If you wanna know my nose, you wanna know what I like, this is one of those fragrances to smell to get to know me. <laughs> All right, we're closing in on the end here. I'm gonna talk about the perfumes that are left. So of course I have to put Sunset Hour in here. This is like the quintessential summer scent to me. It is so good. It is fruity and flirty and fun and girly, but still kind of sophisticated, a little bit sexy. I could see people saying this smells a little bit like Bath and Body Works because part of me thinks that, but I think it's the elevated version of it. So if you love a scent like that, you know, you're gonna love this. <laughs> you're really gonna love it. I love busting this out for summer. There's something about it that reminds me again of like cotton candy, a little bit of like sponge sugar going on. There's a raspberry note in here that gives it a lot of sweetness, but it still has some woody notes to also kind of ground it. I just think it's amazing. Definitely check this one out. I feel like this is a really good beginner niche scent to try out. Last for like full on perfumes, I put in Love Don't Be Shy from Killian because I really like this in high heat. I don't know what it is, but there was a time I didn't like this. Like when I first started getting into perfumes, I was like, what is everyone on? Like, why do people like this? And then sometime last like spring slash summer, I just got this hankering. I was like, I need to put that on. And since then I've really loved it, but I really do like it in the hot weather, even though it's so sugary, so sweet. It's sweet in a different way than other ones though. Like as much as this has sugar and it also has caramel as a note, like it also has really heavy florals, like lots and lots of florals in here. There's neroli, there's orange blossom, there's honeysuckle, there's jasmine, like it's very floral heavy. And the sweetness that's in here kind of hits a little bit later. Like it just hits different, I think anyway. I mean, I'm someone who loves cotton candy and loves sweet perfumes, but I do feel like the sweetness in here took me a a second to get into like it's just a little bit different a little bit more powdery almost a little obscure in a way until it hits you at least again to my nose but I think it's such a girly one again for summer so I wanted to put this one in I don't think I put it in springs but if I did it's in again all right then we have some body mist I had to put the new ones in so this one's from Sol de Janeiro I did get all of them if you want to see my reviews check out that video but when in Rio is my favorite one this one is the most full-bodied it has like a nice vanilla note in it. It reminds me of Nishane 100 Silent Ways. Like it's definitely in that vein, at least to my nose. And I definitely want to get some good use out of it this summer. So I wanted to make sure I put it on here. This is one I want to just like chuck in my bag. If we're going somewhere, I want to touch up, want to spray my room, spray around me. Like I really want to get into this one. Even though it's limited edition, I like using my stuff. Then in the back, there are three more body mists. I have this one from Bath and Body Works, Pink Pineapple Surprise. This this is one I picked up, I think during the semi-annual sale because one of you guys recommended it and it took me a second to get into it. Initially, I was like, man, it's so fruity, but oh my gosh, it really does smell like pink pineapple, like specifically pink pineapple. There's something a little bit softened with that like tangy kind of acidic pineapple smell that can happen. And I love that. It's just a little more sugared, a little bit softer. It's really fun, super tropical, super fruity. I love that it's in a body mist and I've actually been getting into this so much more. So I 
definitely, definitely wanted to put that one in. And then in the back, we have the two new Ellis Brooklyn. I have sand, and then I also have sea. Sand is the more like coconut vanilla white floral, and then sea is the more like musky kind of citrus thing going on. I like actually both of them. I think I prefer sand, but I, again, have a review on these, so check that out if you're interested. I definitely all summer want to be using these, so I think it's perfect to put them in here. I'm going to definitely be using them the next two months, and I really like that these are a bit more elevated. These don't necessarily smell like a Bath & Body Works body mist. They smell like a perfume in a body mist form and I really like that and I love that they're glass bottles. I think they're so aesthetic and so pretty. Like I want to use them for that reason as well. On top of they literally just smell like summer. Like two different versions of summer but absolutely beautiful. So those are going in also. Well guys that is my perfume tray for June and July. I hope you guys enjoyed going through them with me. I'd love to know what you're going to be wearing for summer. What are some of your favorite summer scents, uh, especially if they're tropical, if you think I'd like them based off of what I like, please let me know. I would love to check them out. I always love checking out your guys' suggestions, but I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.